we're now going to look at the Moodle drag and drop marker question. Now it's very similar to a Moodle drag and drop image question with one exception. On the Moodle drag and drop image there are little boxes or indicators that show where answers are supposed to be placed. On a marker question the background image is blank. There is no indication where you're to drag the answers. So the students have to pull the answers up without any indication of where they're to go. And the other thing I want to point out is, for example, on North America, notice, as on all of them, there's a little circle or a little button at the upper left-hand corner of that item. Those buttons must be in what's called the drag zone. So if, for example, the student pulled this answer right here and it appears that it's in the correct location, but the little circle is in the ocean. Now this will depend upon how you as the teacher establish the drop zone, so it's something to keep in mind. Let me show you what I'm referring to. When you create your question, you will have a drop zone. And notice I did include some of the ocean around the North American continent as a part of the drop zone. So if that little circle rolls over here to the side, you're fine. And to be honest, the first time I did this, it didn't work at all with Antarctica because I had my drop zone way too small. The, the, the label didn't even fit in it. So I had to extend my drop zone. So if the students pulled their answer in close to Antarctica, it would work. So that's something we'll look at as we create the questions in the next video. So basically, students pull their information up. And I want to be sure that that information is listed and for all I'm not even sure if that's going to get in there I might have to pull it down here but that's something you have to consider is that little circle will it be in the right location to get in the drop zone let's check the answers and see what happens okay I had my drop zone okay I wasn't real sure if my Antarctica was far enough up here but it was so that's something you'll want to play with after you make one of these to make sure your drop zone fits that little circle and it's also something you may want to go over with the kids to let them know that has to be in the area of where the answer needs to be placed okay in the next tutorial we'll look at how we actually create these types of questions